Hey everyone, these are some of the options of dotting tools you could use for these designs. I've got some nail dotting tools, some flat acrylic dotting tools, and some numbered mandala dotting tools. Let's go ahead and start with the simplest of our designs. I'm going to use the flat acrylic dotting tools to put a center dot and then five evenly spaced dots around that center dot. They're spaced pretty close to the center dot and you have a daisy. I'm going to do the same thing here with a nail dotting tool so this design is quite a bit smaller than that first one but you'll see the same concept one center dot and five dots around the center and then on this one I'm going to take a paint pen and draw in a stem and some leaves This is one more example of the simple flower technique and I'm going to play around with different sizes on these flowers. You can also see how much fun it is to play around with some of the color combinations with these. Your options are pretty endless. Now we're going to take that initial simple design and kind of take it to the next level. So again, I'm going to start with a center dot and then I'm going to do the five dots around. The main difference here is that you'll notice the dots are spaced a little bit further away from the center dot so that I can take a fine line brush and kind of pull those petals into a point in the center. I'm not particularly concerned about the fact that I'm pulling the pink over the white because we can come back in and put that center dot again to clean it up. And you could leave this flower as is and put that center dot in or you can play around with some additional colors by adding smaller dots into your petals and then pulling those down into a point towards the center of the flower. Then finally, take that white paint and make another center dot over the center of the flower. This is another example of the same technique, but we're gonna play around a little bit with the nail dotting tools and a little trick that I call dot and drag. So on these smaller dots, you can dot and kind of drag the point instead of using a fine point brush to drag it to the middle. And on these, I'm gonna do three layers of the color and they kind of remind me of like a flower power type flower, but they're really cute. Out of all the tools that I showed you, this dot and drag technique works best with the nail dotting tools because they're round this won't work really well with the flat acrylic or the numbered mandala tools. For this third design, we're going to increase the detail a little bit. So again, starting with a center dot with a chalk pencil, and then I'm gonna use this large flat acrylic dotting tool. And when I use these, I often will tap them and kind of roll them around to make sure that the paint is evenly distributed on the end of the tool before I do the dot. So just like the first two designs, we're gonna put five dots around the center dot. I am reloading the tool with paint before each dot, you just don't see it because it's been edited out. Once you get your five dots on, you're gonna take a paintbrush and pull these dots down into a point, just like we did with the second one. The only difference is, is that the petals are closer to each other on the sides, so they're kind of touching. And if that paint gets a little gloppy, you can kind of see it here, there was a little bit too much paint there from the dotting tool, you can swipe it off onto a paper towel so that it doesn't get too thick and then have cracks when it dries. I'm now going to take a slightly smaller flat acrylic dotting tool to put a center dot using a darker pink than the background color. You also could use the same size that you did for the petals. Either will work and you can kind of smooth out any gloppiness, any extra paint. 
And then next, I'm gonna take a Posca paint pen, you can use whatever you like, you could even use a fine line brush, to outline all of the petals on the flowers. And you'll see this kind of creates that definition because we are pulling the sides of the petals all the way down, but you can see that they're just right up against each other. If you're one of my OG followers, you know what's coming next. If you're new, I love glitter paints. So I'm adding some hologram glitter paint to the petals and some magenta glitter to the center dot, and then I'm gonna let that dry. And then the next step will be to take a Sakura Pigma fine line pen. You, again, you could use a fine line brush and black paint. And we're just gonna add some detail around the center of the flower, those sweet little lines that make this flower just adorable. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the alert button so you don't miss future uploads. Thanks for stopping by and see you next time.